Hi guys! This is my morning breakfast. Let's try my DIY edible pencil. Now, I'm going to show you the parts and the functions of the plant cells. This is the cell wall. It is the outermost covering of the cell that gives support and defines the shape of the plant cell. Do you see where the peanut butter is? That is the cell membrane, also known as plasma membrane. It's the outermost boundary of the cell. It separates a cell from another cell, gives shape to the cell, holds cellular parts together, regulates the movement of materials of the cell, and plays an important role for signal and reception. This one here is the Golgi apparatus. It modifies, packages, sorts, and transfers out secretory materials. This one here, the violet dots are the Golgi vesicles, are often referred to as the traffic police of the cell. They play a key role in sorting many of the cell's proteins and membrane constituents and in directing them to their proper destinations. This is the chloroplast. Membrane-bound organelle containing photosynthetic green pigments. It is the site of photosynthesis. This is the ribosomes. Round bodies present in all cells. It is the protein factory involved in protein synthesis. This is the nucleus, the information center. It contains the genetic material of the organism. This one is the nucleolus. It is found in the nucleoplasm. It is the center for ribosomal assembly. This is the endoplastic reticulum. A network of sac-like sheets and tubes serves as a system of transport for various molecules within the cell. This is the mitochondria, sausage sheet, a small sphere or rod-like structure varying in size and in shape. It contains the ATP, the powerhouse of the cell and the site for cellular respiration. This is the vacuole. It stores ions, water, waste, and proteins. And finally, this is the cytoplasm. It covers the largest area within the cell and holds the organelles. It is composed of parts with membrane-bound systems known as organelles' little organs.